Hey guys, welcome back to another little episode. Today we're going to do a quick little how-to video on how to change your brake pads. See, this is just <laughs> So, like I said, we're here to do a little how-to video on how to change your brake pads. Um, I have the Bendix Ultimate 4x4 brake upgrade kit in my Ranger here, uh, which I saw in a video oh, a while back, but um, I can put a link to the video in the description below. So if you want to go check that out, I did that down at TJM Hunter Valley. But it's been just over a year um, since doing that and you know i do do or i used to do a lot of towing every single day with my dual axle tradie trailer that um, i carried for work but now i'm no longer do chippy work for a, a living um, working in mitts so towing with an auto uh, has its downfalls and going through brake pads whilst towing every single day is probably one of the biggest ones um, that i've found but it's all good. I've got a new set of brake pads here and luckily it doesn't take too long to change them. So I thought, why not? I'll make a quick video on how to do it. It's pretty simple. All we need, I've just got my rattle gun, a screwdriver to get the brake pads out. I've got a brake caliper piston spreader and then just a standard socket set. That should get us through. So let's take this tire and uh, rip in. There we go. It's looking mighty filthy in here. So it's hard to see, but I'm basically down to a whole lot of nothing in there. It's just at that point where she's a little bit too far gone and I'm very much due to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off this top brake line mount. So at the top here, we've got this bolt through, that runs through here and that just allows movement of the caliper itself. Up here, we're just going to undo this top bolt here and that'll allow this, uh, the back of the caliper to flop, flop down, allow us to take out the brake pads nice and easily. There we go. And as you can see here, the, the pistons are basically all the way out because I've let these brake pads go so long. But, all good. What we do now is just... Take our brake pads out. Oh. And as you can see, there's... They've, they've seen better days. But that's all good. We've got brand new ones here, ready to go in. There you go, you can see, oh, it's a bit hard, but you can tell the difference there. Driving with, you know, a nearly two ton trailer every day does, definitely wears it out. So what we'll do with one of our old brake pads here, we'll throw that back in. We'll get our spreader and we'll spread these Out. Now we just put the brake pads back in the same way they came out near the bottom. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hopefully, there we go. Beautiful. Put the squeeze that back in. Put that bolt back in. Throw the brake line mount back in. Oh, 
well there you go real quick easy that probably took all of 10 minutes i reckon to do um so yeah it's one of those things um it's nice to know how to do things like little things like this yourself you can save a lot of money like i've said in the past um and it's good just to know how to do things yeah yourself um, i'm definitely no mechanic I do what you guys do and and learn through youtube videos and just having a crack myself so without all it that's all it is so the brake pads I've used are the Bendix Ultimate Four Wheel Drive Disc Brake Pads. Um, you don't need to bed these in or anything. You just throw them in and on, off you go. Hope that helps you guys in the driveway, in your driveway sessions. Um, it's not too much of a messy one, just a lot of brake dust and general dust for um, from driving. Uh, but yeah, I'll put a link to the to um, these pads uh, to the exact ones that I've used on my Ranger um, in the description below so you can go check them out yourself and yeah that's about it thanks for watching hope you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe um, and go check out all the other videos we've got some how-to videos in there so yeah thanks for watching time for a beer